Hey, Chiro Oda has stocked One Piece with all sorts of wild character designs, powers, and abilities, and with Wano has revealed far more strange abilities to the world. Including one focused all around a villain's groin. The introduction of the Gifters during the Wano arc has opened up the series to wild animal and human hybrids, and the latest chapter introduced Holdem, who has a talking lion head on his groin. When Otama is kidnapped by the Gifters Gazelleman, she's taken to the leader Holdem. Credited as the 100 Beast Crew headliner, Holdem, Lion Smile, Holdem's appearance begins with his lion groin speaking for him. But Holdem and his groin don't come to agreement as to who should speak and subsequently hit one another. When Holdem hits the lion face on his groin, it gets angry and hits Holdem where it hurts. Dubbed the lion's jewel attack, it hurts the two of them as both of the souls share one body. Or as the series puts it, Holdem's crotch is also the lion's crotch. This naturally makes Otama far more comfortable than before, and it's not hard to see why given just how gross Holdem comes off. His name's even a raunchy groin pun, so Oda seems to be having a lot of fun with this one. The Gifter's introduction to the series introduces One Piece's take on Batman, and surely it would have been way worse received had its Batman have a giant bat face on his crotch. Zero Common Seichiro Oda's One Piece first began serialization in Shuisha's Weekly Shonen Jump in 1997. It has since been collected into over 80 volumes, and has been a critical and commercial success worldwide with many of the volumes breaking printing records in Japan. The manga has even set a Guinness World Record for the most copies published for the same comic book by a single author, and is the best-selling manga series worldwide with over 430 million copies sold. A. Chiro Oda revealed some news about One Piece's future in a recent interview as well. Stating that he was about 80% done with the manga or at this point with the Wano arc, fans are worried that the series may be coming to an end sooner than they thought. But it wouldn't be wrong to infer that the ending will most likely still be years away given how much of the world there is to explore.